So the day we were, we were to meet um, and then ile siku tulikuwa tunakutana sasa hapo kwa ofisi it was at nine in the morning. Um, mimi nikaanza kulaumiwa. Nikaanza kuambiwa kwamba mimi sijakuwa niki provide for my son. Tangu azaliwe ni mama yake ame, ame msimamia. So and uh, this really got into me because um, the lady the officer mwenye alikuwa na anatuongelesha ana ama alikuwa na deal na hiyo kesi alikuwa ni mkamba of which um, i think walienda kiukabila sasa eh, mimi nikanyimwa rights ya mtoto nikaambiwa nisirudi kwenda kuona mtoto so because mimi nilikuwa nimesha report nikasema sasa nita, nitaenda tu kuona mtoto and then mimi nika i proceeded and went um, since there was no akukua na masikizano kwa hiyo mkutano so me i walked away and went and then um, um, on uh, i think it was on uh, I, I stayed for a while and then um, end of the month of uh, it was i think it was may 27th i went to visit my son nikaenda nikamkuta akitoka shule nikampea mazawadi nilikuwa nazo na nikamsindikiza mpaka penye sasa mama yake anafanya kazi and then nilipomfikisha hapo hey, sasa hapo ndio ule mzee alitoka uh, akataka kunipiga eh, akanitia polisi and then there was this uh, man uh, who was just out there alikuwa na gari tu mzee fulani tu alikuwa na gari but they know each other because they are neighbors so akanita akaniongelesha akaniambia wewe usirudi kufanya hivi nikamwambia mimi sioni makosa ya kuja kuona mtoto wangu kwa sababu hata eh, mama yake kufanya kazi hapa ni mimi nilimruhusu and if there is a difference between me and the mother it should not uh, concern our son sasa uh, mimi nika nikaambiwa sasa mimi wewe yeah, wewe ondoka tuenda so mimi nika heshima nikaondoka but then um uh, the following day uh, nilikujua na askari kazini eh nikaambiwa nina ninatakiwa niende police station Kajado so uh, then i had to pre- uh, present myself there nikaenda nikaambiwa uh, mimi eh, sitakiwi niende huko because huyu uh, mzee ameenda kuandikisha statement wakiwa na bibi yangu kwamba mimi ninaenda eh, ninataka kufanya wizi so therefore uh, i should like not go there at all okay so nikauliza okay and then what about the rights of my son and all that how can i be seeing him and all that nikaambua niende nirudi kwa ile ofisi nilikuwa so mimi i went back to the office so when i went back to the office nikaambua uh, hakuna kitu nakuja kutuambia wewe kama hakuna kitu umekuwa ukisaidia mtoto hakuna kitu naweza tuambia and if you really know that umekuwa ukisaidia mtoto wako tuoneshe receipts zenye ume umefanya malipo yote ya yenye hata kama ni uniform school fees all that tuoneshe receipts uh, i had a, some few receipts which i uh, nilitoa nikaonesha wakaniambia hizi ni vitu za kitambo so therefore we 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 enda tutafuta maisha yako mwachana na mambo ya mtoto so wakaninyima kabisa rights za mtoto but i believed wali wali to me excuse kwa sababu like i said the official uh, mwenye alikuwa anatu, anatusaidia ama alikuwa anaongea ni mkamba kama my, my wife sasa ndio hapo ndio ali hapo ndio nilipata nimefinyiliwa kidogo so i i had no choice but just to to go because since sikupata usaidizi yes after that i visited uh, nili visit nyumbani kwa uh, nikaenda sasa ndio mzee baba yake sasa uh, father in law ndio akaniambia mimi nisiruhai kuenda kwake hata siku moja since uh, ye ni yani ni kama nimeshindwa sijui kusaidia mtoto so the same thing so uh, nikitaka mtoto ama bibi nitafute mwingine tafute bibi na mtoto mwingine kwa sababu ye msichana wake hawezi nipatia tena na huyo mtoto ni sahau kwamba nilikuwa na mtoto so that's what the mzee told me because mama alikuwa amesha pass back in 2013 yes eh mtoto wangu okay sasa vile mama ali, alikuwa na namba alikuwa na 0710 
na hiyo namba alipo alipo sasa alipona sasa i'm trying to follow up with her na jaribu kumtext na jaribu kumpigia simu so akaona abadilisha akabadilisha into 0746 which mtoto wangu ndiye alini alinipigia so kunipigia nikampigia tukaongea and that was the last time sasa alipo alipo sikia tumeongea na mtoto aka aka kan blacklist completely 